Okay, hi everyone. I am doing a what's sold this week video and it's going to be from last Sunday to this Sunday from the 19th of January till the 25th of January. Okay, I sold this Chico's beaded necklace. Um, I got it in a jewelry lot that I bought, I think, at a yard sale a while back ago. No, at a stay sale. And basically, I bought it with a bunch of others beaded necklaces. And I sold it for, I got it for 44 cents. Um, so I did take a best offer for of it for $10. And um, so I'm glad I s sold it. I also relisted it originally because I, I don't like how I did it before. So I'm using the mannequin as a prop and the rest of the necklaces on the you know, on mannequin and just take a full you know, close up shots there of this. So uh, this was a happy little sale. So I'm glad uh, that sold. Okay, next item I sold was this Anna shirt. Um, they did best offer six dollars and fifty cents. I took it. Um, I just went and gone. This brand doesn't really do too well for me anyway. It's a nice shirt anyway. It's you know nice and lightweight and summery type shirt. So, um, so I well, I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill. Okay, this is the best sale of the week. This is Saint John sweater. I got this at the Goodwill for $6.49. I had it up since uh, July. And um, originally I had it up for $129.99. Then I put it on sale for $110.49. And I had a watcher on this. So I sent out a best offer. And I offered them $92.49. And they took it, paid quickly. And they gave me happy feedback. So one happy customer yay um st john is a brand that i will pay uh you know the thrift store you know goodwill's full price for unless it's you know 20 bucks or more or something like that depends if it's an outfit yes i'll pay 20 bucks uh, because i know i can get a good amount for it um i love selling st john um this one took a lot longer and i'm not sure why it took a while um it's a great sweater um i just i just don't understand why it took so long but usually this stuff goes pretty quickly for me so anyway i am happy that it's sold and i'm happy that they're happy and everybody's happy yay okay i sold this foxcroft shirt for 9.99 i got this at goodwill for a dollar um this is an older picture um i bought the, the background this wood grain white background and I just never really liked how the colors, uh, the colors never really popped on it. So I switched back to the the other wood grain thing where the colors come out better than this. I just do not like using this. And I bought these um, in the backgrounds uh, at Hobby Lobby. And I think they're normally oh, $10 or something like that. And they use 40% off coupon. So yeah, they're a really good deal. And you get a lot of it. So I really like it. Okay, I sold this uh, Vendome brooch. The name and brand itself isn't really a big high-end brand, but um, I bought, you know, I got this, um, where did I get this? I got this at a state sale. And I paid it basically a dollar forty for it because I bought a few other pieces. And I bought it because it was the enamel brooch um, there. So um, pretty good size. It's about as big as my hand um anyway they uh did a best offer for 15 dollars and i took it happy sale and i've had it up since september so it's a good time to sell. all right newport new <laughs> news uh jeans now i remember years ago seeing the newport news uh magazine with it's a mail order uh magazine and I remember seeing them years ago, and I always liked their clothes, you know, um, super stylish clothes, unique looking clothes and, and stuff. And I've been seeing uh, their items in the store, so I've been picking up the, the pants and the jeans. Um, and I've been, 
you know, doing them pretty well. So anyway, these are a pair of leather jeans. Now leather, size 18, easy style. And I listed them up on the 15th of January. And they sold on the 21st, so that went quickly. Um, I did have them um, 24.99 when I put a sale. Oh, 21, 24, and they bought it. And they're very happy. I got happy feedback uh, with these two. So, and I got them at Goodwill for a dollar. So, yay, happy sale. Okay. So, when this is Lands in a shirt, um, I got this at Goodwill for a dollar, and it had, you know, its original tag still attached to it. And I put it pre owned, I don't put it new. With tag, you know, I don't do the new, just me, it's not new. Someone else owned it. Actually, Goodwill owned it before me, and somebody else owned it before Goodwill. So, anyway, I think it sells better, and I think I, you know, can do better when doing it this way because before I would put new with tags, and you know, they wouldn't sell. I noticed when you, when I research, there's more used sells than new. So, anyway, I put it under use. So, when they see the tag, it's a little out of benefit, and they like it. Uh, so anyway, I sold it at $13.99. They pay $6 shipping, and I paid a dollar for it as well. Okay, um, picked this baby calendar, uh, vintage calendar, at a church rummage sale for a dollar. Um, it was never used, um, very good condition, um, and even had the original stickers in it. Oh, that's Trixie. She's saying hello to her brother. <laughs> so anyway, it, it's it's nice. Anyway, um, I had it $9.99, and uh, they it, they bought it on sale for eight dollars and forty nine cents. Not bad for a quarter. Um, I had another one that I sold earlier in the year. Uh, there, so that was pretty good. Okay, this shirt, I've had this for a year, and. Uh, Someone uh, made me an offer. No, I made an offer to someone uh, for five dollars and forty nine cents, um, and they they bought it. Uh, so I'm glad to see it's gone. Um, that's basically a goodwill price for a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> um, so I did that. So I'm glad it's gone. Bye. Happy. Hope you enjoy it. Okay. Now let's see here. These Liz Claiborne cargo capri pants. I got them at Goodwill for a dollar. Um, I listed them up in September, and they sold for $13.99. Um, I like some, these seem to, you know, these kind of cargo pants, they seem to do pretty good. So, um, I like selling them. And right, they do all right. So, all right, next item. Okay, I got this at Goodwill for a dollar. And uh, let's see, I listed it up on the 8th of January. And it sold on sold uh, yesterday uh, for $9.99. Oh, pretty butterflies. That's the reason why I picked it up. Uh, not because of the name, but because it had their dra dragonflies. Why am I saying butterflies? Dragonflies on there. And so dragonflies, yeah, it's hot just like uh, butterflies. So uh, it, was, it sold quicker than I thought it would, so I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, I sold this book. Um, I got it at a church rum itself for a dollar, and actually it was uh, new. It, it it had the uh, sulfane wrap around it, but I noticed the sulfane wrap was tearing and coming apart. So I took that off and just sold it uh, like new, never been used. And it's taken a long time. I've had it up since probably June. It's taken a long time to sell. Um, we used to sell a lot of cookbooks way back when, but I'm slowly trying, I'm slowly getting out of the cookbook business. I just like doing cookbooks way too much. They, they, they're taking too long to sell. And uh, so if I do cookbooks, it's going to be old vintage ones. Um, ones that I'll do. Or all the common old ones there, so that's what I'll do. Okay. All right. Ta-da! That first beanie baby sold. <laughs> uh, if you watched um, any of my uh, yard sale 
uh, the last yard sale uh, video, you know that I got a bunch of stuffed animals, including like 58 Beanie Baby cats. 58 of them. So I started listing them this week. And I had a lot of people looking at I had some watchers. So I think I listed the probably about 17, 16 of them already. So still got a bunch more to go. And so this is the first one that sold Little Delilah. So basically I paid, what, 29 cents for the Beanie Baby. So now this is an experiment in a way I'm doing here because, um, um, you know, everybody say don't pick up Beanie Babies because they don't sell, they don't sell. Well, okay, this one sold. This guy basically paid for the rest of the Beanie Babies. I kind of almost got them free, but anyway. Um, they, you know, she has the plastic tag on them and stuff, and all the ones I got have the hanging tag to them and the tail tag, and they're all in excellent condition. I think one of them that I had to, uh, clean up a little bit, and cleaned up a pretty good, cleaned up pretty good, so I'll be listing it, probably taking pictures of it and listing it later on, the next batch of beanies. Um, so... I'm happy about this. This is an interesting uh, thing. I'm going to see how these little guys, see what they do. Now, you know, I'm probably going to end up paying like $3, 3 something for the shipping. Um, era and um, so basically, I'll probably make, uh, seriously, you know, four or five bucks off of it. But that's good. That could buy me a Subway sandwich. I could put a gallon of gas in my car, you know. Um, that can buy more clothes <laughs> or pay some fees <laughs> there, you know, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to continue listing these little buggers up and, and we're going to see what happens, see how long it'll take me to sell these things. <laughs> so, I'm, and I listened them up, what, last week? So it didn't take that long for this one. Anywho, let's see what happens. Okay. Next thing. Okay, I have two Etsy sales. Now I picked these glasses up, I think for about, what, a dollar? No, I didn't, actually I got them free. Uh, they were part of the estate sale batch that I got. And um, they were extra. Um, like it says here, take it. So I was like, okay, I'll take them. And uh, so anyway, I sold those for, I want to say nineteen ninety nine. Wait a minute. Let me see. Wait a okay, I sold them for nineteen ninety nine, and the customer pays five hundred two for shipping. So that's pretty good. And I was about ready to give up on Etsy totally. I was just like, I'm not gonna list anymore. I'm tired of listing and nobody buying. <laughs> and in the past week, I had a whole bunch of people uh, favorite favoriting stuff in my store. So I don't know what happened. I guess when you want to give up, it just turns things around. I don't know. It's strange. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I guess we're going to still continue on with Etsy. Now we have another sale. Yeah, two sales in one week on Etsy. Hang on, guys. <laughs> okay, I sold this little teapot. I got this at a state sale for a dollar. And it's been in my store for about a year. <laughs> and I sold it for $19.99, and they paid uh, shipping. So, yeah, it's a little teapot. It's like about seven inches tall. It's not very big. Um, very nice. Made in Japan. A uh, little teapot. It was part of the set that I ended up buying. I had these dishes and cups and stuff of the same pattern, but I had like three different sets of stuff that kind of all got mixed up and I had to separate it. And, um, but it's all sold. I think I got them all sold, except maybe a couple things are still left. I think I have a set of two saucer plates and I think some sort of, I want to say a creamer or something like that, but a uh, creamer dish or sugar dish, but that's it. But all of it, most of this stuff is sold. So it's a really nice design. Don't know, know who made it. You know, made in Japan, vintage. So uh, that's it. I'm happy uh, with that sale. And so I guess that's going to help pay for fees and make me want to list more <laughs> on this here. So, um, anywho, 
I think that's it for uh, the stuff that I sold. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will answer you back as soon as I can. Um, for those who are new to my channel, <laughs> welcome. I got 14 subscribers. Yay. Welcome, guys. <laughs> um, there. So, anywho, uh, that's it for now. And uh, happy sales, happy listings. And uh, may the force be with you. Talk to you guys later. And Dookie saying bye bye. Bye.